yeah. Uh, people also picked a preference with UST, and I think liquid staking is as dangerous as uh, as you know the Terra. Back. Not okay. That's an exaggeration. Maybe not as dangerous, but you know, that, I, I don't want to give in and say like staking derivatives have won. And I think you know, I think people are not accounting for the dangers of staking derivatives enough yet. Yeah, I want to say that the the way the photon is designed to just simply bond atoms, but also in, it, it, it emulates auto staking. It's as if you are staked across the board to all the validators in proportion to their <laughs> voting power. Um, this is like the simplest, you know, most risk adverse, right? Most, um, most, most conservative way to have a staking token that is liquid. So in that sense for consumers, you know, this should be really easy for them to just hold photons, right? And transacted photons. Um, and so that's one. So in that sense, the photon does, I think, resolve a lot of the issues and the desire for liquid staking tokens. Um, but I'd say that the, also the liquid staking system is, is not well um, thought out. Like it's systemic risks are not well understood and what I see is that with liquid staking, we will be going toward a system, you know, with, uh, with, with huge systemic risk if we're not careful in how we limit it, right? Yeah, so, just you know. one thing I would say is one of my favorite things from like the ideas that Jay has been sharing um, is the idea of doing, um, of having a tool in the toolkit being like taxes of various kinds on interchain accounts um the great contribution and i like really am grateful for it thank you thank you zaki yeah i mean just okay so i think we're in agreement um maybe but and tell me if i'm wrong you know there are two things that i'm really concerned about with liquid staking um one is one is it's going to create this market that soaks up liquidity capital to incentivize all the validators and delegators to um to to basically compound double down under risk and it'll keep amplifying risk because once you delegate through liquid and, and get liquid staking tokens you're gonna be incentivized to you know if the system is working then you're gonna want to buy more atoms and do the same thing over and over right and that compounds risk and that means with even you know and that means all the validators and all the delegators are gonna be in a situation where you know, in order to survive in this marketplace, in this hyper-competitive market, you have to put more skin in the game than you might want, you know? Um, and that means even a slight issue where you might just get slash 5% ends up making you bankrupt, right? We don't want that. We'd rather have people make mistakes, get slashed a bit, and then learn from their mistakes and get stronger rather than just, you know, <laughs> like here's a, here's a rope, go walk on it. And if you fall, then, you know, so long, right? The other thing is, the other risk I see with liquid staking tokens is, um, is it's gonna be very tempting for people to create systems that attract all of these liquid staking tokens, you know, onto say a single smart contract or single system. And that system could very easily take over, you know, the governance of the staked atoms. And, as, and, and act as a voting block, depending on how we implement it. So, you know, I mean, I think we should have, we should allow some of that, you know, I mean, these, you know, there, there's so many design spaces that we haven't explored. So yeah, I, I do like the idea of just limiting interchain accounts. Yeah, I mean, I think that there's that the idea of potentially like putting a tax on, like, I don't know that, like, I'm not, fully aligned with the idea of, of turning it on by default. Um, uh, that would be a more conservative take than I would probably agree with. Um, but like, it's a way for the hub to essentially dis disapprove of, of, of liquid staking designs without like banning them being like, like we can design uh, uh, something into the hubs interchain uh, account host mechanism that like kind of like can like look at like a bunch of parameters that are like set by governance and say, hey, like, okay, if it matches these parameters, then, you know, a like a tax to the community pool for any attempt to withdraw rewards. Yeah.